as he's hoping to continue to expand his program. Pat? Well, the Oakland School District is still about $80 million in debt, trying to improve low test scores and working with teachers after some conflict. But many of the people now put back in charge are excited. Joining us now is Assemblyman Sandra Swanson. Thank you very much for joining us. Why are you excited? Why is this going to be so great to return the control? Well, good morning, Pam. Well, this is a clear victory for our children. And I think that uh, parents are, are very excited this morning because uh, accountability has been restored to the Oakland schools where parents and uh, teachers can now go to a school board and those important decisions that have to be made about the educational future of our children now can be decided locally. Now we did hear quite a bit of booing from some of the teachers uh, at the ceremonies after mm. this was, was handled. What is going on with the teachers and how will that be resolved? It's been a tough history. I think that anyone uh, that looked at this honestly would think that it has been a tough history, uh, tough history of relationship between the state and the local uh, and the local school board. But I think that we have gone beyond that now, and now we have to look forward. Schools are still being challenged. Dropout rate uh, is a problem. Uh, we are in tough economic times. Education has to become more of a priority. But now we have the local tools to have the decisions made that will make a difference for for our children locally. You bring up some good points. I mean, tough economic times to be sure. A lot of huge cuts, particularly to schools. I mean, what has changed in the six years that's going to make Oakland schools more successful now with the control back in the hands of Oakland? Sure. Remember now, when uh, we had state-run uh, system, the school board uh, had very little power. Parents had very little power, and they were still motivated to work very hard in the neighborhoods for our children and to make education a real priority. Now that they actually can make decisions, specific decisions, that affect schools in our neighborhood, it's going to make a tremendous difference. And with the Obama administration looking at schools as a priority and education as an investment, uh, we think that Oakland would just do fine. Uh, Congresswoman Lee and a number of the legislators have been pushing the administration to bring resources into schools like uh, the Oakland District, and we're going to work here to state, even with a strap budget, we're trying to make education a priority. Now, and, and I, as a parent myself, I've learned firsthand, I mean, it really takes parent involvement in the schools to make it successful. Do you have more people stepping up in Oakland to be actively involved in the schools to make them better? We have never had a shortage. Uh, when we started the campaign for a return of local control three years ago, uh, the, the, it was, parents were always motivated. Uh, this is our greatest example of democracy. People want to make sure their children are educated. We know it's the key su to success. And so we're all going to continue to work hard. This is really just a new beginning for Oakland. I am extremely optimistic about our chances of being successful and helping our children reach their potential. All right. We certainly hope that you are right. Assemblyman Swanson, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Pam. Please say it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let's go back over to Tori and Dave. All right, the president is promising to make some changes at the White House to promote energy 